Hashem, everything that he created, he created, in essence, a, uh, another side for it. Zekin neged zeh barai lokim. So just like, for example, there's tall, there's short, there's black, there's white, there's darkness, there's light. And just like Hashem has kisei kavod, he also made a kisei kavod for the Satan himself. Just like he gave Am Yisrael, the prophet of all prophets, Moshe Rabbeinu, he gave the Goim, Bilam Rasha, who was such a Rasha that the Chazal asked, how could he possibly be a prophet? Prophecy is pure. It's purity. It's directly from Hashem. So it's all. Bilam is called the person with only one eye. Why is he called the person with one eye? Because he really only had one eye. The other eye was just a hole. And that eye, since there was no eye there, it's the only part of his body that didn't sin. And that's how he would get the prophecy. The rest of his body sinned. Shem Rachem. But back to the Kisei Kavod and what Hashem gave the Satan. Each time Chazal says that each time we make a sin, we create a demon. We create someone that's going to try to influence us to make more sins. Each time we make a mitzvah, we create an angel that's going to help us make more mitzvot. So it pays to make more mitzvot. And that's actually how the, the root of where they say mitzvah goreret mitzvah, ve'avera goreret avera. One mitzvah leads to another mitzvah, and one avera, one sin, leads to another sin. This is why sometimes you see somebody is a from from person, everything is great, he wears the hat, he has the beard, he has this, he has that, next thing you know he's in a casino. Whoa, what are you doing? Yesterday you were at the leading the tefillah, you know, you were a chazan, you were bal kore, you were tzaddik, you have kids, you have this, what happened today? First time you ever went to casino, all of a sudden you have a casino, now you have a girlfriend, and what happened? So mitzvah gore mitzvah, avera gore avera. He started one sin, he thought it's a little small. It's tiny, small, tiny little sin. But the little sin created someone who's going to influence to make another sin. And another sin, another sin, and someone loses control. Hashem Yachem. Genom is not too far. This is something we must remind ourselves for, of every day. I know it's harsh truth for some of you that have never heard my lectures, but this is reality. If we don't speak reality, we're never going to do tshuva. And whether you're from, from birth, you did tshuva some, you know, at some point during your life, you have to realize that you have to do tshuva every day. Every day, you have to work on something. There's no such thing as someone who doesn't make a sin. Everyone makes some sins. Now the Satan, for most of the work, he has shlichim, he has employees, which we create in essence. We create as employees. So most of the time, he doesn't have to do anything. He just watches. Once in a while, he gets off the chair himself. Once in a while, he gets off the kisei kavod. When does that happen? When something big is going to happen. When a lot of his employees are about to quit. When one of his people that's helping people do tshuva, or perhaps a tzaddik that's doing mitzvot, or is doing avirot, is about to start doing a lot of mitzvot. He doesn't like it, so he starts getting in the way. Especially when it comes to kiruv. So what does that have to do with today? I know that today's lecture is going to be interesting because on the way here, I got into a car accident. Baruch Hashem. So I know that the Satan is interested in this lecture. 